Hello, it's Andy here, and welcome to episode 2 of my SANS 2018 Holiday Hack Walkthrough, where we'll be taking a look at our first objective here at KringleCon, or what looks to be a few simple questions at the stall in the lobby. Apparently, one of Santa's elves, Bushy Evergreen, can help us with this task if we provide them a little help with a Cranberry Pie Terminal Challenge in return. Given that this is the first objective, I'm not sure if we'll really need much of a hint, but hey, Christmas is a time of giving, so let's give Bushy some help regardless. In this Cranberry Pie Terminal Challenge, Pepper has been encouraging Bushy to use Vi as their text editor, but Bushy seems clueless how to use it. Well Bushy, I feel your pain. The first time I opened Vi, I was similarly baffled how to even exit the app too. Vi is a super powerful text editor, but also highly unintuitive for new users. Entering a command, such as loading, saving, searching, and exiting, you need to type a colon, followed by the code for your command. In this case, we type colon Q to exit the app. And success, we've helped Bushy exit Vi. We could close the Cranberry Pi terminal here, but we're left in a shell, so why not have a bit of a poke around? Here we can see the home folder for the current user contains a few hidden files. One dot message is the text that is loaded into Vi at the start of this challenge. Another noteworthy file is dot bashrc, which is the list of commands which are executed when this user starts a bash shell session. Here we see the command to launch Vi, and load the message file. The next line looks like it runs the code to tell the challenge system that we successfully managed to close Vi. Taking a quick peek at this, we see it's a binary executable file rather than a script, so it's not immediately obvious how it works. Maybe it'll be fun to do some further poking around in this executable a little later, but for now we have other objectives to complete. Closing the terminal and heading over to the KringleCon stall, we're presented with the questions that are the main part of the first objective. They all relate to the storyline of the previous three holiday hacks. If you didn't take part in the previous challenges, or just have a bad memory, Ed Scudis provides a great overview in his Getting Started talk. This was the one that Santa told us about when we collected our badge from him. With all the questions answered correctly, we're given our secret phrase and can complete the first objective. I'll see you in the next video to tackle objective number two.